Hello guys, welcome to another beautiful Friday of my video tutorial on how to become great in your digital painting. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on because anytime I post a video like this, you will be the first to know, be the first to notice. So uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys about a few things you guys need to know about uh, building your self confidence in your painting. So you guys need to have that confidence. You got you got you guys need to trust the process of what you are doing because every stroke means something. So when you don't get it right, just erase it or paint over. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can do some easy data painting. But the video I'm gonna show you in the process of this, the video will be fast. So just stick with me. Just listen to my voice. Uh, Why I keep saying things that you need to you need to know to add into your data painting experience. So I've been doing this for long, and uh, I think uh, it's really paying off. So uh, stick with me while we go into the game. Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I just started implementing the colors. Uh, let me quickly apologize to you guys. I'm sorry for no uh, posting video last week, which is very wrong for me not to do so. But I'm sorry. Please have mercy on me on that. Yeah. So as you can see, I just apply the colors on the characters. Uh, just want to do uh, different layers on different section, which simply means the skin and the shirt and. Uh, just separate i just try to do it separately but remember we are still going to work on one layer that will be 3d that which will build your confidence of the way you paint so in this process you, i just i don't have I, i'm not afraid of using my color because it's already there already so i know my mistakes and i try to correct my mistakes so it's not everything you will see until the final until the final picks so in this process, I just want to guys share you some share some tips share some tips with you guys. Sometimes there is this in your mind like, ah, oh, let me do it this way, let me do it this way, it will work. Just do it. When you don't get it right, try to you. Do you have your eraser or you paint over? So, uh, that is the only way you can master your 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 you you have you have this inner mind like, yeah, I can do it, and also try to imagine um uh, what it will take you to do something nice and also to do some a nice painting on this because the more you imagine this it will be easy for you to apply colors and also easy for you to do some nice and crazy effects that people will like wow this uh painting is different from the last one i saw this painting is believable this painting is realistic so people don't really care how, uh, how much time you spend on your artwork all they just care is like okay uh the work is okay because it's just one set one thing so um uh, take your time to do your painting don't be in a hurry like yeah, you will complete it that particular day there's no way you can complete uh a painting as a beginner for that particular day because you know that to be to do some realistic painting it will take you time so it will take you time it will take you some few time to do it maybe uh, let's say 14 hours 12 hours to create something nice you want to create a believable scene with, with that will full of details but meanwhile let me share some stories about my own uh, career of painting uh, when i started my painting i started with uh i started with uh i started using masks to do my own digital painting so by then i was not doing uh, uh vector painting you no know? I was going to the hardest part of it, which means trying to use my mask to blend. And then, then I was using just eraser and brush uh, and paint tool. So I would just put some, uh, use the paint tool to create some shape and use my eraser to keep on erasing it to become, uh, you know, and I just want to make it have that 3D look then. So, but a few time to time, I came to realize that I can, I'll be able to use the same mask to do some buzzing without not uh using the same mask to do some 3d painting without not using my eraser so in that place it was easy for me to to apply those uh idea on that mind because the more you keep on working on your painting the more you keep doing something consistently 
you will have this uh you will have this you will have this easy mindset like i've done this before so what can i do so the more you keep doing that the more your mind keep growing on the way you do your painting in that process you can even find your own way of painting and which will be easy for you and also be easy for you to understand in any in anything you are painting and so in that process now you will find it easy to do easy painting and that uh, with in lesser time and also with a crazy look and also i don't know but more realistic you know more realistic so in this uh place i will just uh, adding the light so that uh, i will have this 3d look already so that i will not go too much further than uh trying to you know so that i just put the lights first but some place there's a place that is that is not uh, covered so i'll just pick the colors and go back to my plane which is the first uh, layer which is the skin try to fill those correct just try to correct try to fill those uh uh o's and go back to my main layers in that place i will be able to work on it so that is it so uh, now i just remove the sketch line so that i can be able to know what i'm doing try to you know try to apply the color so there, there there you go so right now i'm trying to give the shadow for the neck as you can see so the first is easy when you keep doing it consistently it will be easy for you because once you start doing things that is difficult a time will come it will be easy but when you keep doing things that is easy a time will come it will be difficult for you to do because let me be honest with you it will be difficult so try to do the hard part so that uh, at the end of the day you will see you will see yourself improving in terms of uh, doing difficult things and become better at, at it and uh, people will like to know how you created something like that. So I enjoy the process of doing my painting because sometimes I, I feel bored because I'm alone sometimes. So I feel bored and uh, I try my best to stay awake because sometimes when you are doing your painting sometimes you will just sleep off uh because there's this there's no motivation there so uh people will ask me that like, where do you get your inspiration from yeah that is the often question people always ask where do you get your inspiration from you can get your inspiration from anywhere you can be playing music you can just but sometimes money makes me feel motivated i feel motivated when i see money sometimes when you just give me money now i'll just be motivated you know which is uh which is not bad which is not bad i get inspiration through music and also uh trying to do all that and stuff or try to do all that stuff so in that process you can get your expression from there too yeah so in this place i try to blend some colors uh but i'm still using one particular layer so if you watch uh, the layer pattern you will see that uh uh which is the first plane to uh, the first to the uh layers and the main particular layer that i'm using to do the 3d look so yeah uh at this particular stage i just uh go into the eyes but i'm still using the same layer so it's like I'm doing my digital painting because I, I find myself doing my digital painting in one particular layer, which is re which is really amazing for me because it's like that really shows that I'm improving my own ways of doing my own painting because I just work with I'm working with few layers before I was working like I would have like fifteen layers. I remember then I was having fifteen layers and. Which is very 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 crazy because you will not know the particular layer then i was giving each layer names and uh this is the eye the inner eye the, no then it was so crazy uh before i find myself doing this uh character uh this uh digital painting in an easier way but it takes it takes time it takes time it really takes time but if you are very good at what you are doing, you stay consistent because you. I think you stay consistent more than me because it was every time I didn't do my digital painting for a long time period of time. So it just because I I was just imagining it and imagining it and as soon as I come back into the painting, it was easy for me again because it is still there because I always 
I have the mind of uh, my mind always go back to my painting like you have not doing any painting, you have not doing any painting. So when I come back, once I hold my mask, I was still using mask then. So when, once I hold my mask, it will be easy for me to apply colors and also go further. And I was, I was like, wow, I just came up with you know, something new. And uh, so you just have to have this uh, this mindset that I can do it. You just you just need to believe yourself. So I I was believing myself even when people was not believing me. You know. <laughs> Which is very, 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 very funny. So I was believing myself. So secondly, uh, what I would say to you guys, like you guys that are, that are coming up and uh, I'm still coming up too. So you guys that are coming up, that are, that are watching this video right now, which is a great opportunity, great opportunity for you to learn this uh, theater painting in an easier way because I was, I was able to ever do a digital painting on my previous video. Uh, it be my previous video on how to create digital painting with mass which is a very 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 good video for you to watch you just have to watch that video because you do you know why i i searched your line uh, there was a 2017 when i was looking for uh, how to create digital painting with mass i didn't see anyone so i will check the line recently there is no one so then I said, okay, let me do it for you guys. But many people also people don't like using that one because they just think that they need to have this uh pad. But what if what about if you don't have this pad yet? You can still use that to it's all the same process. And I did it in a one in a single brush, which is uh Photoshop custom brush or yeah. That would, that was what I used and uh I think uh people there was a girl, she was like it's not even uh uh it was it's never looking you know i, I told her that uh i didn't tell you that uh the the character will look the same but rather i just saw how you can create digital painting with mass that was what i did and people were like oh 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 she was like she was just uh bringing it into the negative side but i was i was never um influenced by her negative ways you know because I know where I'm going, I know what I'm doing. So, uh, that was very easy. So people will people will always like discriminate your work, or also criticize your your way of doing your painting, and you know, not everybody will like you in your own way. People, some people will like you. People will love you. People will love you. So that is it. That is it. So at this particular stage, I'm just trying to work on the shirt, and you know. Uh, pick some colors from the original image which is correct you can do that it's your own way of painting because uh this painting you are seeing i'm doing it for a client so it's not just uh uh painting that i'm just trying to do because if i'm trying to do the painting i'm not going to pick colors from the shirt to be honest with you because i laid out some color but just for it to be realistic and believable so i just need, I have to pick colors from the shirt so yeah it's really it's really 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 interesting to be doing painting because i love people that are doing their painting because i, I often watch people videos on youtube then so i don't have any, nobody showed me how to do my digital painting just that i was watching it online taking my time overnight trying to do some painting that will be that will be believable uh trying to improve myself every year and uh yeah this is where I go to, and I know I'm still trying. I'm still trying my best to bring more, to be the best version of myself, so that I'll be able to, you know, first of all, aim on, and also to to be good at what I do, so that I will have this uh more. I will have this more confidence in me. And remember what I told you guys before. I just want to show you guys how you can have this confidence in your painting. So, due to my own story on my own process of doing my own painting. If you implement it into your own way of doing your own painting, I think uh you will go far in terms of your own learning of ability because you don't even need you don't even need tablet to do some crazy painting. You don't need tablet. All you just need is your mouse. Your mouse is okay for you. So maybe you like, okay, let me go into the advanced uh software because of the pressure and everything, then you can apply for all those stuff. You know, you can apply for all those stuff. But I I'm just trying to tell you guys that when I started, I didn't have this um, pen tablet. I didn't have uh, even this iPad that I bought recently. I didn't have it. I, I didn't have those stuff. But I was working. 
I was working with my mask. I was actually painting, like, the painting you see on my profile, the painting you see on my on my pitch, uh, profile picture on YouTube channel, I did that painting with my mask. So I didn't do it with, uh, uh, with paint tablet or so. No, 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 no. I was working with my mask. So I was working with my mask. So, uh, yeah. Please, uh, I would like you guys to subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, that is the only way you guys are doing things that are making me to smile and also making me to try to give you guys the real story about my painting and also to share my own part, part of what I see paintings and art there and also in that. Because I often watch uh, traditional painting. I watch traditional painting mostly because when I look at experienced people that are doing traditional painting, in that place you can implement the way you do your painting you will see that it, it takes time it takes time but you just have to be patient you just have to be patient too so because i watch all uh, those people the way they apply the way they do that sketching the way they apply their colors in traditional painting that was i was able to have this uh, inner confidence in me that i can do something like that so then that was when i was started that is when i started reading books about drawings and anatomy knowing about gesture knowing about you know all these few few things that we don't know i try to know those things that will make me to improve myself in my own painting which is very 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 good for anybody to know because you just have to know it you just have to know it so if you want if you are coming to the world of digital painting you you need to know it uh yeah you need to know it so as you can see the way I do the settings or around uh the the way I do my paintings or so you can see I just put my color pattern this side, I just put this little layers the other side, which which simply means I can be seeing what I'm doing, which is the na navigator. Let me just call it the navigator. So I create one for myself. So yeah. It's very interesting, it's very interesting. And I'm happy that uh I'm sharing this uh, experience with you guys. I think this experience will help you guys a lot. I know it will help you guys a lot because, uh, yeah, it will help you guys a lot. Really, it will help you guys a lot. So, the third thing I will try to share with you guys is that when you are applying your colors, don't be afraid to use col your colors. So, I remember, remember I told you before, it takes time. It takes time. It takes time to master your colors and every other thing. If you can see what I'm doing now, I'm just using soft edge brush to be doing what I'm doing when I have strong edge brush. But no, I just have to use the soft edge brush because that is the way I just feel like using it. So, same with you when you are doing your painting. It doesn't mean you will use the edge brush, you will use this brush. But when I was, when I, when I started my teaser painting, I was using different brush. Let me be honest with you. I was going online searching for brushes like airbrushes, uh, <laughs> which is very, very, very funny for me. Because then I was using masks. So masks cannot give me, not everything mask will give you. You know, mask doesn't have the pressure and everything then. So I didn't know about uh, setting it up. So I was going online, downloading brushes, downloading there are many I, I downloaded many 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 brushes like uh i watched some people's video i downloaded brushes <laughs> which is which is very 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 funny so i use all those brushes so uh at least at the end of the day i came up with something great and no i didn't use all the brushes because i was just downloading brushes i, I was thinking maybe brushes is the, is the, uh, is the solution to my painting well that which is not you don't even need brush. Brush is not a solution to your painting. So I was thinking maybe brush is the solution to my painting. I was just okay. Let me download brush. I will, I will be downloading brush. And really, the brush is not is not a problem. The problem is that is what you know. That is why that is why you are here. So the more you know, the more you end. The more you know, the more easy for you to implement your painting, to implement it into your painting. And the more you know. It will be easy for you to round up your painting in a in an easier way, you know, in an easier way. So, yeah, so that is it. That is it. 
So at this particular stage, I'm just uh, create. I just create a layer on top of my hair and just be applying uh, the string. Let me see. Is the string? Yeah, hair string. So I'm trying to apply the hair on top so that it will be more believable. And uh, you know, you you. I know you are watching this video right now. You are feeling that joy, or maybe you are not. But uh, try to be patient with yourself. It takes time to grow. It takes time to become good at your own painting. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm still learning uh, some things because the reason for this channel right now is to be able to explain things for you guys and also and also to create some character illustration that you guys will love at the end of the, at the end of the channel. So, uh, I think I'm gonna do something great in this channel, and all I all I need for me is just for you to hit that subscribe button, turn your notification bell, and also give this video a like if you think this video. I just want not if you think this video is okay just give it a like and so that other people will see this video too and also have the same confidence also know my stories on how i go through and how i created my own painting how i come came about using my own tablet and i started with mass i started with mass there's this guy called there's this guy called chi word she would want to something she would want to cherry so i was looking at him then 2017 because i love the guy painting so the guy was using illustrator and my mind was in in illustrate uh, uh photoshop so there's no too much of alliance there that to be using photoshop and uh, uh, you'll be using your stuff you use photoshop which is very nice but my painting the way i'm doing my painting is like no, I can't achieve what I need in Illustrator, but let me just keep on using my Photoshop. So what I did, I just created, I just said, let me be good at one particular thing before going to an, another. That was what I was doing then. And which was very, very, very helpful. So I will encourage you guys to keep doing what you need, you need to do. Just do it. Uh, take your mind off and keep doing it. I have this confidence in you that you can achieve anything achievable in your painting the painting is not that easy it's not it's, it's, it's easy let me be honest with you the painting is easy when you know what you are doing remember what i told you guys before the more you keep on doing what is hard it will become easy the more you do what is easy it will become hard because a time will come you're like ah, i've not been doing what i need to do so you know you try to go back and you know so there is time for everybody because the time is abundant you know guys the time is abundant to be honest with you guys so yeah right now i'm just trying to get the jacket or the shirt you know the jacket trying to make it look more realistic more believable because i'm just working with the reference image i'm working with the reference image so yeah what I will say to you guys is that what I will say to you guys is that at least a day just try to do some painting. A day, maybe a day or two. Try to do some painting. Because when you keep on seeing people try to ever look at people's painting. Like in that process you can be able to grab any information you need to you need to know. Or you got to see something that you will like apply into your own digital painting. So digital painting is very is easy. Let me be honest with you, it's easy. Because when you are looking at reference image and you are doing it, then you are you are creating your own painting image, like your own character. You don't have any reference image. Ha. Huh? That one is very, very, very difficult in terms of that. But if you keep on doing it consistently, you see that that one will still be easy because the more you do what is hard, it will become easy. So yeah, that is it. That is it. I'm I'm happy because I was able to share this uh, few few information for you. Try to tell you guys some part of my stories on how I, how I became. I started doing my own digital painting in 2017. I know in 2007. It just took me two years. So I'm going to two years now. Probably. Going to about four years now uh, in, in graphic design. So 
which means uh, it takes me four years to become very good at uh, at this and also uh, uh, to be able to to work with what I have because sometimes we think that uh, if we have more brushes we have more chances of creating something great uh, which is good if you have brushes like me if I have other brushes I have uh, I can do anything on Doable because I have the idea already all you really need is the idea on how you can create these things and that's what I told you guys before to be try try to imagine yourself doing something that you are not doing but have it in mind that you are doing it and you are seeing yourself doing it so in that process it will be easy for you and it will be easy for you to go back into that particular place and be doing that same go back into your photoshop and be doing your digital painting yeah 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 so at this particular stage i'm just trying to you know i told you guys before trying to make it look realistic yeah trying to make it look realistic At this particular stage right now i'm just uh going to the chain so if you, if you look at the layer or section you see that i created a new layer for the chain well i don't want down to affect the rest so it's just about picking your idea you can even do the chain with one layer uh with the same layer with the shirt so it's your own choice but as a beginner stage as a beginner trust the process or uh, create new layer you can create one at 10 layers the time we come that you will see yourself uh minimizing yourself. you will minimize yourself for not using too much layer because the time we come that you are not going to be using too much layer you will yourself will be like wow so that is it that is Richard. so don't get yourself confused when you see people at work online don't say that ha what you will be you 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 I, I, I promise you this you will be good You'll be good. Don't say, oh, this guy's work is wow, it's more better than my work. No, don't don't do that. Don't criticize your work. Don't take yourself down. Remember, any artwork you do, love it, just keep it. You understand? It's a masterpiece. So a time we come that you'll be like, wow, I, this is my former artwork. This, so that is it, that is how it work. So just trust your process. Do some, just do it, you know. Just do it. To be honest with you, just do it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, please. Um, just hit the notification bell so that anytime I post a video like this, I think uh, I think you you really need to talk. Not uh, I know you need to talk, and you still need me to be doing some video on how you can do something great. I will do so. I will do. I will do. But you just you just you just need to know some few few things that will build you up. Let me be honest with you. Let me be honest with you. It's only you that. If you do your own, your own personal artwork, let me just see. If you do your own personal artwork, you will not know that uh, your work is beautiful. It's only when you bring it into the uh, into the market square. So, for example, you bring it into uh, you you post it on Instagram, you post it on uh, Facebook, you post it on other platform. Then then you will not see the opinion of others. You will not be hearing, "Wow, this is beautiful." Within you, you know that it's not beautiful. But people will be telling you like, wow, this is beautiful. So that's that, that is what I'm trying to let, let you understand that you don't know, you don't, you can't see the beauty of your work unless people tell you that this work is beautiful. I don't buy into the world like ah, you you are good, you are you are not good. Oh. No, 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 no. Instead of buying into that world, try to learn more so that people will still keep on saying you are not good. Yeah, you are, you are, just try to be that kind of person that uh, that always want to learn and also, also always want to bring something new you know so that is the only way you can kill this day off don't be afraid of uh doing your painting don't be afraid of don't be afraid just keep doing what you can do i bet you in the next in the next two uh two months if you keep on doing it consistently in the next two months your painting of this week it will be different from the painting of next two, two weeks because you become more i don't know how to say you will be good 
just buy into it it will be good the more you keep on spending your time with your photoshop you will be seeing some uh some some new new functions of the of a way of a new way to paint your your digital painting i'm telling you the truth you know what things you do you know what things you do you just have to be patient you just have to be patient you just need to you need to be patient it takes time so guys that is all for to for now uh i will see you guys uh next friday please uh i would like you to hit the subscribe button let's try to make this channel reach 1k or 2k or let's try to make this kind of channel reach uh 2k or 1k for now so please subscribe to the channel and uh i bet you guys i'll not let you guys down because i'm gonna be telling you guys the fact so i don't have any online class that i will say okay you guys you don't need to pay me you don't need to pay me for any uh, class tutorials no 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 all i just need for me right now is for you to subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel so that i will be able to have this mind because i'm bringing you the real fact i'm trying to open your mind about digital painting so see you guys next friday